Hello friends, let us study the mechanism of posture. The different mechanisms which are involved in maintenance of posture is one is very important as the muscle tone and the other is the postural reflexes. I think muscle tone we had dealt it when we were reading about the muscle spindle and when we were talking about the stretch reflex. So here again you will have to recollect what is muscle tone. Tone of a muscle it is the passive resistance which is offered to a movement okay and this passive resistance to the movement is applicable because of that there is a sustained contraction continuously there is small amount of contraction in our muscles even when the muscle is at rest okay so here is one good definition that's why i had displayed this picture muscle tone is defined as the tension in the muscle at rest okay and how is this tone maintained you have said very rightly that tone is maintained because of the stretch reflex and in a stretch reflex we have the role of alpha motor neuron we have the role of gamma motor neuron and we have a very important role of our muscle spindles right so if i want to ask you as you know give a one liner definition of muscle tone your answer should be that it is defined as the tension in the muscle even when the muscle is at rest that's very important to understand tone is not defined when you are contracting tone is defined when the muscle is at a rest so when you are moving any hand passively suppose you want to flex this person's arm when you're trying to flex the person's arm you will feel that there is a tone a resistance offered by the flexor of that limb okay then what is muscle strength it is defined as muscles ability to contract and create force in response to resistance suppose you are trying to flex the person and he is resisting actively resisting to that flexion you know and if you put your hand and ask him to try to extend you can check the strength of the extensors when he is trying to flex and you oppose that flexion you will be checking the strength of the flexor i think this is how we do in the practical physiology so you check muscle strength by creating a force in response you know as a resistance to the uh, movement but when you define a tone tone one thing we have to know the key word that we should not uh, forget is the rest it is the tension which is there in the muscle when you are at a rest and that is that tension is due to a sustained contraction a tonic contraction of the skeletal muscles and posture is very much dependent on to the muscle tone and it is maintained through different reflex adjustments of tone in the anti gravity muscles we are going to see about it as how tone plays a role in posture what is the role of the tone muscle tone in the posture you will see here when we try to maintain a posture usually you know when say posture we are doing it against the gravity we maintain our posture against the gravity against the gravity when we do definitely we have group of muscles who are called as anti gravity muscles of the body and they are also termed as the postural muscles and what are these muscles we should remember that in humans to hold a erect posture the muscles uh, the flexors of the upper limb and the extensors of your lower limb they are the main anti gravity muscles other than that the retractors of the neck the elevators of the joints the supraspinatus extensors of your back the rectal muscles of the abdomen and the extensors of the knee and the extensors and the flexors of your ankle they are very important muscles for uh, they are the most uh, very important anti gravity muscles now control of a muscle tone so i hope i made it clear that when we look at this picture here is an example of few of the group of anti gravity muscles i am revising it once again do remember that flexors of upper extremity and extensors of lower extremity that is of your leg they are considered to be the main anti gravity muscles but other than that we also have the muscles of our neck we have the muscles of our trunk 
we have the abdominal muscles okay who are going to maintain this erect posture against the gravity you are able to maintain a muscle tone as i said muscle tone is maintained because of stretch we all know that for a reflex there has to be five components can five you tell component. me what are those components yes, first there has to be a receptor. receptor second there has to be Af afferent fibers afferent fiber or afferent nerve third there has to be a center efferent and the center then there has to be an efferent nerve fiber, which is going effector. to bring the thing and the fifth one Motor. is the effector right effector. now let us try for stretch reflex what are the receptors muscle spindle fine what is Any your muscle spindle fiber. going to sense the um, uh, muscle spindle uh, send the sensory impulse through one a fiber to mm -hmm. center tell me in one word what are your muscle spindles says the stretch in the so they are fusel fiber stretcho receptors right who are going to sense the stretch in the muscle very good then next component your afferent nerve who is your afferent nerve here one a fiber one a fiber right then we'll go to the center which is the center here uh, spinal cord spinal cord dorsal very root. good and that too the dorsal horn very dorsal good root. yes dorsal root very good it goes to the dorsal horn now and from there we have the efferent nerve who is your efferent nerve um, uh, one uh, alpha motor neuron and alpha, alpha motor, gamma neuron motor neuron and gamma motor neuron and what is your effector effector is the extra fusel fiber of so extra extra fusel muscle fibers right so what will be the response there will be contraction. contraction in the muscle so this is your stretch reflex now if i ask you to draw the stretch reflex you are going to guide me i'll take one more screen so let me draw the components of our stretch reflex if i think this to be the muscle belly guide me yes ma'am there will be intrafusal fibers having annular spiral spiral ending of muscle spindle no there will be intrafusal fibers who are going to have the muscle spindles and these all are your extra fusel muscle fibers extra then fusel. go ahead so here are my these are my annular spiral band yes this goes to the uh, dorsal ro uh, root yes so it goes and innervates to uh, secondary uh, second order neuron that is okay. uh, alpha uh, alpha motor neuron and gamma motor neuron and With we have one more motor. that is the gamma motor gamma motor neuron when there is a stretching of these muscles what will happen next there will be uh, sensory firing through one a fiber from okay. uh, mu muscle spindle okay then the impulses are going through 1a fiber 1a fiber and then they are going to go to where dorsal root and and so you will have the muscle contraction contracted yes other than the alpha motor neuron what is the role of gamma motor neuron here ma'am uh, that will prevent the slacking suppose of we start from stimulation of gamma motor neuron now go on let's take to alpha gamma loop yes go ahead when there is gamma stimulation of gamma motor neuron that will uh, do motor uh, firing to the end of the intrafusal fiber that uh, that in result that will contract along with the extrafusal fiber to prevent the slacking okay we'll go that. step by step there is stimulation of gamma motor neuron this gamma motor neuron this is going to supply the contractile part of intrafusal fiber of intrafusal fibers right then there yes. will be contraction and this contraction of these contractile elements is going to stretch the intrafusal fiber stretch the muscle spindle oh, yes ma'am so that uh, it continues the one a firing and so because of the stretching the muscle spindle is going to increase the afferent impulses the impulses through one a fibers yes. through one a fiber very good now what will one a fiber going to do it is going when it to again do will stimulate the, the alpha motor neuron and your alpha motor yes. neuron is going to cause the contraction contraction of muscle right now this contraction is going to do what 
Then this contraction will again uh, stretch the muscle. Stretch the muscle spindle. No, it will going to stretch the whole muscle. Yes, there is contraction of the muscle means shortening of the muscle, right? Yes, ma'am. You know, gamma motor neuron stimulation is ultimately going to cause the contraction of intrafusal fibers. This contraction is going to stretch the muscle spindle. The muscle spindles, muscle spindles through one a are going to give the afferents to the spinal cord, right? They go to the spinal yes, cord. They stimulate your alpha motor alpha neuron. Motor neuron. Once my alpha motor neuron is stimulated. Along with alpha motor neuron, your gamma motor is also again getting stimulated. Yes, Had there been no co-activation of alpha and gamma together, if alpha would have caused the contraction of your muscle, right? Yes. If there yes, would have been contraction of the muscle, the muscle spindle would have slagged. Yes, ma'am. Right. So we need a alpha gamma co-activation, which in turn is going to shorten the so if they shorten the muscle in the means, there is going to be contraction. Now this contraction that you are getting, even at a rest, you have not actually got anything to do. You're not doing any activity. It was the simple impulse which were coming through the gamma motor neuron. It was that impulses which were driving through and it was the gamma which were driving the impulses. So this yes, contraction of the muscles, which is there present in the muscles even at during the rest is what is defined as tone. Tone, tone. Do not forget this pathway. So stretch reflex, yes, they are the main, you can say main reflex which is responsible for the maintenance of tone.